Our topic of today is airborne infections. Airborne transmission is caused by the particles that are suspended in the air. There are two types of particles. Uh, number one are dust particles uh, that result from the suspension of particles that have settled on floor or bedding. Infectious particles blown from the soil by the wind, for example, fungal spores. Number two are droplet nuclei. They represent the dried residue of the droplets that have been sneezed or coughed into the air. Their size is less than uh, 5 microns and they can suspend in the air for long uh, periods. Uh, tuberculosis is transmitted more uh, often indirectly through droplet nuclei than directly through direct droplet spread. Uh, Legionaries disease and histoplasmosis also spread through airborne transmission. Airborne transmission is uh, usually caused by the infected particles that are discharged into the air in the form of parasols produced by sneezing or coughing. Uh, the diseases are usually viral, uh, although some bacterial diseases such as tuberculosis, meningitis and pneumonia are also air caused by airborne transmission. In this slide you can see uh, some airborne diseases. Uh, diphtheria is caused by cornibacterium diphtheria. Tuberculosis is caused by mycobacterium tuberculosis. Whooping cough is caused by body telepathic. Uh, pneumonia is caused by diptococcus pneumonia. Uh, scarlet fever is caused by streptococcus scarlet. Uh, influenza, poliomyelitis, colds, mumps. Measles, chicken pox, smallpox, these all are viral diseases. Systemic myco mycosis is caused by Candida albicans and Histoplasmae consolatum. And now this slide shows how close contact between two uh, persons can cause airborne transmission of viruses and bacteria. And uh, they can also cause deposition of these uh, droplets on uh, surfaces and uh, we can act as uh, fomites and uh, cause transmission of airborne diseases. In this slide again you can see the causative organisms of uh, airborne infection uh, in which you can see that there are some bacteria like Streptococcus aureus can cause respiratory uh, infection, sepsis, uh, skin infections, uh, streptococcus pyogenes can cause respiratory infections, sepsis and other infections. Uh, Legionella and Ethereum and meningitis can cause meningococcal uh, meningitis. Quadritella uh, pertussis can cause pertussis. Yersinia pestis can cause pneumonic plaque, bubonic plaque. Uh, Cornibacterium diphtheria, uh, diphtheria can cause diphtheria. Uh, there are uh, fungal diseases which are uh, caused by histoplasmosis, aspergillosis, etc. Uh, viral diseases uh, like influenza, uh, uh, pulmonary syndrome, hantavirus pulmonary syndrome, pleurodynia, respiratory and other infections, rubella, measles, common cold, these are all uh, viral diseases and are uh, airborne diseases. Uh, protozoan diseases include uh, pneumocystis carinae, uh, which can cause pneumocystosis and pneumocystis carinae pneumonia. First of all, I want to discuss with uh, you uh, coronavirus, known as, uh, also known as COVID-19. Um, it is named as corona because it is a prone-shaped virus. Uh, it is an airborne infection and it has become a global pandemic nowadays as you all know it started in Wuhan, uh, city of China uh, in uh, December uh, 2019 and uh, now it has affected almost uh, uh, all the people in the world and has uh, caused uh, more than uh, one uh, like in 70,000 deaths till date. Uh, it has affected almost uh, 4 lakh people all over the world and 80,000 
people are affected, have been affected in Pakistan. It has caused 3,000, almost 3,000 deaths in Pakistan till date. Uh, it has devastating effects on economy uh, throughout the world. In this slide, you can see that viral diseases are being caused usually in winters and spring. Here you can see that uh, viral diseases cause fever, uh, fatigue, sore throat, muscular pain, productive cough, dry cough, and shortness of breath. In this slide, you can see the comparison of clinical features of MERS COV. MERS is Middle East Respiratory Syndrome uh, that, uh, that occurred in Middle East in 2015. Uh, SARS COV, SARS is irritated respiratory syndrome. COVID 19, as you all know, is coronavirus uh, pandemic uh, currently going on and uh, ending influenza. Uh, symptoms are uh, for SARS COV are uh, fever, headache, dry cough, and shortness of breath without a respiratory tract. Uh, Most COV uh, symptoms include uh, fever, cough, and shortness of breath. While COVID-19 uh, uh, symptoms are usually cough, uh, fever, and shortness of breath. Uh, and influenza uh, cause fever, chills, uh, cough, sore throat, runny nose, body aches, headaches, fever, uh, fatigue, with or without vomiting and diarrhea. Uh, influenza, uh, uh, the incubation period of influenza is uh, uh, it is infectious one day before symptoms until five to seven days after becoming ill, and um, it can cause person-to-person -person transmission. Uh, yeah, and uh, it causes almost fourteen thousand to thirty-six thousand deaths per year. Uh, COVID-19 uh, has incubation period of two to fourteen days. Uh, and uh, it, or, uh, it can cause person-to-person -person transmission and on outbreak is uh, on ongoing. Uh, currently unknown, uh, uh, death is currently unknown because the outbreak is still in progress. Uh, most COVID uh, caused uh, 945 cases with 348 deaths as of January 2015. Uh, 3 to 4 out of every 10 uh, person infected were dead. Uh, SARS CoV uh, causes 10 percent of those ill, uh, but uh, uh, can in, uh, death rate increased to 50 percent in person over 60 years of age. Uh, these are airborne infectious diseases which we already have discussed. TB is an other airborne uh, infectious disease and uh, uh, it is highly prevalent in Pakistan and India. Uh, it is caused by microbacterium tuberculosis. Uh, the disease primarily affects lungs and causes pulmonary tuberculosis. But it can also pick intestines, meninges, bones, joints, neck and skin and other tissues of the body. A patient with infectious pulmonary tuberculosis can infect into 15 other persons in a year. Tuberculosis is uh, mainly a disease of the poor. Uh, and it has symptoms or, um, like uh, cough, uh, hemoptysis, uh, weight loss, fever, chills, loss of appetite, loss of weight, uh, extreme tiredness. Uh, tests usually uh, uh, done for the diagnosis of TB are sputum test, blood cell test, TB culture test, and the mole TB molecular uh, test. Here you again, can again see uh, that symptoms of tuberculosis and chest pain, coughing, uh, remorphosis, coughing with blood, chills, fever, loss of appetite, night sweat, uh, low appetite, and loss of weight. A functional healthcare system should find all the persons who have TB and are undiagnosed and untreated uh, because when they are uh, presented to healthcare facilities, 
uh, they should be screened uh, by uh, at healthcare facilities and by active outreach healthcare facility uh, services. Uh, finding persons with TB requires screening of all persons presenting in healthcare facilities and investigating those with TB symptoms. Um, a functioning healthcare system is necessary to ensure that all persons with positive TB investigations are being treated with anti tuberculosis therapy. Here you can see the drugs uh, commonly used for uh, treatment of tuberculosis. Primary or first line drugs include uh, isomerazid and rifampicin. Uh, isomerazid is uh, given uh, 300 milligrams uh, per day. Maximum dose uh, of rifampicin is 450 to 600 milligrams per day. Uh, secondary or second line uh, anti tuberculosis drugs include streptomycin, pyrazinamide, ethyl butyl, fluoro. Uh, Unolones, ethereum, etc. Uh, tertiary uh, uh, drugs include cyclosyrin, aminosalicylic acid, kenamycin, capriomycin, etc. Dots is uh, directly observed treatment short term chemotherapy in uh, Pakistan. Pakistan ranks uh, it amongst the top in two TB burden. Uh, diseases uh, in the world and uh, about 300,000 uh, new patients are added each year with Punjab having uh, one-fourth of the total TB burden. Uh, Pakistan started DOTS in 1995 under TB control program uh, but uh, non-availability of funds from a regular health budget brought it to a fall. In 2000, it was revised and funds were allocated to it, uh, seeking to provide 100% TB care to its population by 2005. By 2005, DOTS had been set up all over Pakistan. And TB strategy 2020 is to make the world free of tuberculosis with zero deaths, disease and suffering due to tuberculosis. Its goal is to end the global tuberculosis epidemic. Its components are integrated patient-centered care and prevention, bold policies and supportive system, and intensified research and innovation. Chicken pox and smallpox are also airborne diseases. Chicken pox is caused by herpes zoster, uh, varicella zoster virus. Uh, and smallpox uh, was caused by virulent virus. It has been eradicated in May 1980 and was confirmed by the World Health Assembly. Uh, symptoms include fever, headache, backache, vomiting, and sometimes convulsions. This figure represents the characteristic of chicken pox rash. The rash advances quickly through the stages of macular, tapping, vertical, and scab. Uh, all stages of rash, patterns, vesicle, and crusts may be seen simultaneously at one time in the same area. This is due to the rash appearing in successive crops for 4 to 5 days in the same area. It is known as pleomorphism. Complications of uh, chickenpox include hemorrhages, pneumonia, encephalitis, acute cerebral ataxia, and Weill syndrome. Maternal varicella during pregnancy may cause fetal wastage, birth defects, cutaneous scars, atrophic limbs, microcephaly, low birth weight, cataract, microphthalmia, chorioretinitis, deafness, and cerebrocortical atrophy, uh, acute retinal necrosis, and uh, progressive outer retinal necrosis uh, can also occur. This figure shows the uh, comparison between signs and symptoms of chickenpox and measles. Measles, uh, rubella or seven day fever, hard red measles are caused by RNA paramedical virus. Its incubation period is 7 to 14 days. Active immunity is achieved through measles vaccine. Uh, that is also known as MMR, measles, mumps, rubella vaccine. Uh, while passive uh, immunity can be achieved by measles immunoglobulin, um, uh, 
MMR or measles vaccine is given at the age of uh, 6 to 9 months. Measles uh, is characterized by fever, poor eyes are with sneezing, and nasal discharge, or pregnancy of eyes, lacrimation, photophobia. Uh, it is characterized by coptic spots, which are a table salt crystals appear on the buccal mucosa opposite uh, the first and second lower molar, molars. Uh, there are small bluish white spots on red base, smaller than head of pen. Uh, it's rash is typically characterized by dusty red macular macular rash which begins behind the ears and rapidly spreads in a few hours over the face and neck and extends down the body taking two to three days to progress with the lower extremity. You can see the three C's of measles. These are all horizon and conjunctivitis. German measles or rubella uh, or 3D measles disease is caused uh, by RNA virus or Toga virus family and uh, it is uh, characterized by low grade fever, lymphadenopathy and macrocapital rash. Infection in early pregnancy results in serious congen con congenital defects including death of the fetus. Uh, it can cause classic pride of uh, congenital defects uh, which include deafness, cardiac manifestations and cataracts, glaucoma, retinopathy, uh, microcephalus, uh, cerebral palsy, intrauterine death, retard, uh, go through tridation, uh, hepatosplenomegaly, mantle and motor retardation are uh, also caused by rubella in pregnancy. Uh, it's for its prevention, rubella vaccine is used, uh, but it should not be given in uh, pregnancy. Diagnostic tests usually used for its uh, diagnosis are uh, hemagglutination test, uh, IgM uh, antibody test, uh, TOSH test, and ELISA. Drugs usually used in the treatment of chickenpox, measles, rubella, are antihistamines and antiviral drugs such as acyclovir, oscovir, antiviral uh, medicines can be taken orally, intravenously, or applied on skin. Uh, they are prescribed to people with long term illness, impaired immune system, and pregnant women. Uh, also, other drugs given to reduce fever, cold, itching, irritation of the rash sore throat, etc. For prevention, varicella vaccine, uh, which is live attenuated vaccine, uh, can be given uh, and pregnancy should be avoided for one to three months after administration. Diphtheria is also an airborne disease, uh, infection, acute infectious disease and caused by cornea bacterium diphtheria. Uh, uh, major clinical types have been described as uh, anterior, nasal, partial, and uh, laryngeal. The formation of a grayish or yellowish membrane uh, over the tonsils, pharynx, or larynx with well defined edges and the membrane cannot be wiped away uh, is the uh, particular sign and symptom of this disease. Uh, other symptoms include sore throat, hoarseness of voice, swollen glands and neck, difficulty in breathing, and is discharge, fever and chills. Uh, it is uh, caused by airborne droplets and contaminated personal items which are also known as fomites, contaminated household items. Meningitis is also known as cerebrospinal fever and uh, is caused by Neisseria meningitidis. Uh, it is uh, uh, characterized by intense headache, vomiting, and stiff neckness, neck, uh, which progresses to coma within coma. Coma. Meningitis is also known as cerebrospinal fever. It is caused by Neisseria meningitidis. Uh, it is characterized by intense headache, vomiting, stiff neck, 
uh, which progresses to form coma within a few hours. Uh, fatality of uh, untreated cases is about 80%. Uh, percent. Meningitis is uh, classified as, as uh, acute viral, viral meningitis, bacterial or pyogenic meningitis, uh, focal suppurative meningitis, and chronic bacterial infection, uh, which is also known as tuberculous meningitis. In acute aseptic viral meningitis, uh, CSF findings shows lymphocytes, mild increase in protein, normal glucose levels, Viral meningitis is usually self-limiting and treated symptomatically. Acute respiratory infections uh, cause intermission of the respiratory tract. Any player form nodes to alveoli with a wide range of combination of symptoms and signs. Upper respiratory tract infections include common cold, pharyngitis and otitis media. Low respiratory tract infections include epiglottitis, laryngitis, laryngeotracheitis, uh, bronchitis, bronchitis, and pneumonia. Uh, about 90% of uh, acute uh, respiratory infection deaths are due to pneumonia. Uh, pneumonia and acute re respiratory infections are caused by numerous types of bacteria and viruses which include what telepartises, conibacterium diphtheri, hemophilus, influenza, capsiella pneumonia, uh, streptococcus, streptococcus pneumonia, viruses uh, include adenovirus, coronavirus, influenza, enterovirus, measles, parainfluenza, syncytia virus, rhinoviruses, and other agents include chlamydia, mycoplasma pneumonia. Uh, pneumonia in uh, show sign symptoms uh, which include shortness of breath, uh, inability to um, intake, uh, convergence with mal malnutrition, uh, strider. Strider is the uh, uh, strider makes a harsh noise when breathing in. Wheezing is a whistling noise or show signs that uh, while breathing out. Uh, convulsions, uh, etc. Uh, pneumonia is classified uh, in infants as a very severe disease, severe disease, pneumonia or no pneumonia. Uh, very severe disease, uh, uh, in very severe disease, patient is not able to drink. It, uh, he may have septicemia, throat abscess, meningitis, obstetrical malaria, convulsions. Strider and calm types with pneumonia and fast breathing. Fast breathing is present when respiratory rate is more than 60 breaths per minute and in a child less than 2 months of age, 50 breaths uh, per minute in a child aged uh, 2 months up to five, 12 months, 40 breaths per minute or more in a child aged 12 months up to 5 years. Uh, in severe pneumonia, a uh, child uh, has a chest in drawing. Uh, he may not have fast breathing if child becomes exhausted and if that would be needed to expand the lungs is too great. Uh, he has nasal flaring, grunting and cyanosis. In pneumonia, uh, child has fast breathing uh, but no chest in drawing. Uh, in no pneumonia, a child, uh, most child children have a uh, cough or uh, difficult breathing and uh, but, uh, it can be relieved with antibiotics. Uh, uh, there is no sign and symptoms of fast uh, breathing or chest and growing. This slide shows five steps to prevent the spread of airborne infections, especially during monsoon or uh, in pandemics like uh, COVID-19. Uh, always uh, cover your face and nose with tissue or with your elbow while sneezing or coughing. Sanitize surfaces and wash your hands that, uh, you know, often. Get plenty of sleep and drink a lot of liquids. Uh, social distancing is very important. Do not share glasses, spoons, forks and tissues. Uh, avoid visiting ill friends and relatives.
There are the airborne precautions uh, that should be taken, especially in hospitals. Uh, there should be single negatively pressured rooms, door to be uh, remain uh, closed. Staff to put on N95 masks often uh, when and en while entering the patient room, and uh, uh, my hand should be wa washed uh, regularly, and hygiene should be uh, locked after. Uh, instruct up. Instruct patient about respiratory hygiene and cough etiquette. Uh, patient to put on surgical mask when leaving the room. Uh, this figure shows the guidelines which should be taken in infection control in hospital uh, by forming infection control committees in hospitals, bed segregations, and uh, proper spacing. Overcrowded waiting areas in hospitals should be avoided. Uh, healthcare workers should be trained in, uh, in infection control, uh, fast track infection patients, frequent ha hand washing and relocate waiting areas, um, uh, training patients in cough etiquette and uh, hand hygiene, adequate budget to take infection control measures. Primary measures regarding prevention of upper respiratory tract infections and airborne uh, diseases include uh, balance, taking balanced diet regularly and healthy food uh, helps a lot in improving the immune system, reducing stress, uh, avoiding smoking and alcohol, regular exercises are very important to improve the immune system of our body. Secondary measures include uh, regular hand washing, hand hygiene is, uh, should be encouraged, mouth uh, should be covered while sneezing and coughing. Uh, contacts with people who may have the infection should be reduced by maintaining uh, social distancing or proper distance of at least six feet. Cleaning and disinfection of uh, surfaces regularly uh, with the touch uh, by sanitizing them on a regular basis. Thank you so much.